Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to 3D Now. My name is Jack and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the BQ Magician Delta 3D Printer. So hopping right into the video, I want to give a big thanks to BQ for sending this printer for me for review. So this is my first ever Delta 3D printer that I'm reviewing. I have to say, I was really, really impressed. So the printer came to me in this really cool cylinder box. Once you pop the top off, it's encased in a big layer of foam, and when you pull that out, it has a ton of accessories in it. So it comes with a spool of filament, comes with accessories that you need, like a spatula, an SD card, USB drive, glue stick, and lots of other stuff. This printer cost $199 US dollars, and the build size is 100 millimeters by 150 millimeters in a cylinder shape. It's a Delta 3D printer, it prints in a cylinder. Also, it prints in a 1.75 millimeter filament, and this printer is totally assembled right out of the box, so it's perfect for beginners or people who don't want to figure out how to put together their 3D printer. So, I put the printer on my desk, plugged in the power cord, put a file on the SD card, put the filament spool in, and clicked print. I was pleasantly surprised at the print quality because the part came out absolutely amazing. I'll talk a little bit more about this later. So after using this printer for, for a few days, here what I think are the pros about this printer. So first of all, the fantastic print quality. The prints that come out of this Delta printer are absolutely amazing. They are perfect. Also the BQ Magician is made from totally injection molded plastic and metal parts. There is not one 3D printed part on this, which makes for a super sturdy and solid design, which you need for a Delta style printer. Uh, and also I like that there is no setup required. You just pull it out of the box, plug in power, put in your spool of filament, and start printing right away. There's no assembly required. Also, something that was really cool, it uses a 32-bit board and it has a color touchscreen. So instead of using an old school push knob and little LCD screen, this has a full color touchscreen which allows for super easy control over the printer and it's great for beginners as their icons and buttons and text that tell you exactly what to do and it's very user friendly and easy setup. Also it was nice that the magician has a removable build plate so once you're done with the print you just pop the build plate off. It's, it's flexible so you just flex that build plate and the part pops right off super easy. Also when you're printing you need to have good cooling on the print and this printer has no shortage of that. It has three fans on the print head and all those fans blow onto the object while it's printing to make sure that every layer it prints is nice and solidified and make sure that it's ready for the next layer to be printed. And also this helps with the amazing print quality from the Magician. Another cool feature is the Titan Extruder. So the motor that pushes the filament into the, the hot end and melts the filament, it's called a Titan Extruder. It pulls that filament super strongly and it will not skip a gear at all. Also, it has a really cool wheel on the side and you can rotate that wheel with your finger and slowly push out filament if you're, if you're purging the nozzle or switching filament colors. Also, a really cool feature is it has power recovery. So, if your power goes out or you unplug the printer by accident, when you turn the printer back on, it'll prompt you if you want to complete the print. So, if you were in the middle of the print and, and only print it halfway, you just click continue and it starts right back where it was and it finishes your print which is awesome because I actually had a power failure at my house and I got to finish my print with the power recovery option. Also, this printer comes with a spool of filament and a Cura profile, which most printers do not. So if, if you're a beginner and you don't wanna play around with settings, you just import the Cura profile. Everything is exactly how BQ wants it and your objects will very likely print perfect every time because you're using the exact settings that they tuned with this printer. Also, one of the best things about this printer is the price point. It's only $199, under $200 for this printer. And that's amazing because a lot of people can afford this and it's a fantastic printer to get into the 3D printing community. In addition to that, it's a great printer for beginners because there's no setup, there's a Cura profile so you don't change any settings, you just plug and play, download an object, there's no hassle with leveling anything, and also brings me into the next thing, which it has an auto bed leveling system. So the BQ Magician has a really cool auto bed leveling system. You plug in a little sensor and put it on the bottom of the nozzle, and click auto level, 
and the printer comes down and touches the bow plate a few times to get the Z height. So once you do that, the printer will know exactly how far it is above the bed and it'll print perfect first layers every time. Also, the BQ Magician prints at 0.1 millimeter layer height max, which is a super, super fine layer height, fine resolution, which means your prints are gonna turn out much more clear and the surface finish will be a lot sharper. Finally, it's awesome that the BQ Magician has an SD card reader and you can plug it in via USB. So if you don't want to have your computer plugged in the whole time the printer is printing, you can put a file on the SD card and use the SD card to print so the whole printer is standalone. Or you can plug in your computer via a USB and print through there too. They're both two really good options. So all 3D printers have some cons and there are only a few things that I do not like. One of them is the bed. It's kind of small because it, it is a Delta printer. On most Delta printers, you don't get a very big build height. So the max you can print is probably around four or five inches, which is a good size for most things. But if you want to print bigger, you might want to consider a different printer. Also, the bed is not heated, so you can only print PLA. You can't print other exotic filaments because you need a heated bed for those materials. Finally, the bed surface peels up a little bit because it is a flexible build plate. So you might need to tape it down a few spots to make sure that it doesn't come up and pop off while you're printing an object. So wrapping this up, this is a fantastic printer for beginners. I was blown away by the ease of use and the print quality with this Delta printer. It has super great quality with a sturdy design. It has an interactive touchscreen, which is great for beginners. It has auto leveling and power failure recovery mode. It's totally pre-assembled and it's all for 199 US dollars, which is absolutely an amazing deal. Totally consider you guys picking one up. I'll put a link down below in the description to their website, which is bq.equipment. You can check out all their accessories, all their printers, including the BQ Magician. And again, I wanna give a huge thanks to BQ for sending me their printer for review. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, comment down below. I will answer every single one of them. If you like 3D printing videos like this, make sure to, to subscribe to my channel. If you want to follow me on social media, I am at 3D.now on Instagram and at 3D Now Printing on Twitter. I post updates, cool projects, and prints, and I'll see you guys in the next video.